How much money can you make as a SolidWorks expert? If you purely put your SolidWorks skills into use and try to work as a freelancer, is it gonna make you enough money to live off that? We're gonna find the answer to this question in this video. The best way to find the answer to this question is to go to these freelance websites like Fiverr and try to ask for some quotations from some of the people who offer SolidWorks services. I asked 12 people on Fiverr for a challenging model of a water tap that I found on the internet. It looked really interesting and challenging enough. So I gave these 12 people this object and I gave them a dimensional constraint. I gave them 30 by 15 by seven centimeters or this much in inches as the outer volume of this tap. And I told them the water has to flow through it. These spirals on the body have to be hollow. 10 out of those 12 people right off the bat told me they cannot model this and they backed off. The other two who claimed they can do it, they had two very different prices to offer me. The first one gave me a quotation for 75 bucks and the other one $250. We are going to sit down and evaluate the quality of their work together for the first time. Based on what they have done, I can tell you if the price they asked for is fair or not. I am going to model this myself at the end, time myself and according to my hourly rate we're gonna find out where the realistic price of this model should be now i know i model much faster than an average joe but my hourly rate is also higher so it neutralizes it and i think it gives us an understanding of where we are let's go check the models and see what these people have done first model i received was from the guy with the offer of 75 dollars this looks really clean i like how he has done the outer surface there are four diamonds missing on these bits he had to have some openings here as well you know four of them which he hasn't done but it's fine a big red flag i see he has put a tube in the middle of this model and when i check the cross section of that i realize the spirals are not hollow so it means the water cannot flow through it and as i show in the picture on the screen this water tap is hollow you see the emptiness inside it and that's the beauty of this design he has made it easy for himself and he loses one point on that one let's just measure the dimension if he has been inside the constraints i gave him if i put this inside a box like this 160 well right off the bat this is out the box it had to be 150 max this had to be 300 this is 214 that's fine this is the thickest part and should not be more than seven or seven centimeters or 70 millimeters he has 48 which is fine so one of the dimensions is bigger than the constraint i defined he loses another point there let's just calculate it based on five points he's on three he has done a very good job on the surface i really love what he has done let's just oh both on the inner and outer surface this is only one surface one piece which shows he has work with the surface let's quickly break this down and then we move on to the next more expensive model he has started with a sketch okay he made some planes okay okay he's going for a loft or boundary surface in this case he has made the outer surface using boundary surface tool then he has used four sweep cut sweep then he has used ah for surface sweeps this is very similar to the model that i have done so stay tuned because i'm gonna put the sped up version of my modeling at the end of this video he has done it a little bit in a different order and then he's used split line to put the intersection curves of those sweeps on the body oh then he's gonna use a lot of planes eight of them okay he has created eight planes perpendicular to the end point of each of these eight spirals for clockwise and for counterclockwise because he's going to draw the profile on each plane then use sweeping tool again and then he has done a surface sweeps oh my god and he has done it he has used a circle oh yeah that's a smart move by using a circle he has cut his workload in half when you sweep a circle on a surface there will be two contact lines on each side of the circle at 180 degrees so he has created the thickness of the struts around this water tap at one go i like it this is a smart move i'm gonna give him one plus point he goes back to four or 3.5 I give him 0.5. He has reached this level 
the outer surface body is good now he is going to thicken it and then do the revolve probably on the bottom very clean work i like it however since he has done two red flags he's getting a 3.5 out of 5 stars for 75 dollars it's a decent work now let's go and check the other guys who charge me 250 dollars let's see what he has done and what method he has used right off the bat the form is wrong so he loses one point on that it's not clean look at this it doesn't matter it's not as clean as he has used a different method he does lose a point on the form because if you see the outer form is going like conical down but in reality look at this do you see it there is like a very curvy spine outer shape to this top and he hasn't done that let's check if he has done it the spirals hollow yeah it looks like it yep okay what is this why is it so weird it's very unclean what's happening inside but at least i see some pathways for water i cannot tell what's happening inside okay the connection points are not clean but i'll take it because i haven't defined any limit let's just check the measurements if he has done it right if the model fits inside the box the form is really bad 15 okay 27 cgs okay so this is centimeters all right 28 sticking to the dimensions he did a good job on that let's just measure this okay the dimensions is fine let's just see if the hollow spirals are connected to the tap because supposedly the water has to go all the way through right i want to see how he has done this part these holes come together merge into one like four then it goes up connect here and then the rest very good so he lost one point for the looks the form let's see if he has done anything as smart how has he done it he has started with a boss extrude of a rectangle what then a 3d sketch and plain spiral then he has done a spiral like this i want to show this why why oh he's going to subtract something from something he has done a spiral then uh he has done another 3d line then a loft he started from the top part he's done a loft you don't need three sketches for that then he has done a sweep a triangular profile like this with a hole in it all the way up connected to the loft he mirrored it okay boss extrude okay so he has done something on the bottom circular pattern circular pattern you could have done both at one go but he did it in two goes combine them loft cut i want to see what he has done the loft cut for oh to empty this tube all you had to do was to shell it dude you didn't have to use loft a lot of work and then a revolve cut for the outer to clean the outer shape combine them together cut sweep oh it made it hollow again all you had to do was to hollow the spirals but nevertheless i see what he has done the more expensive guy didn't break any rules i gave him except the geometry doesn't look as clean and the form is not a match so he lost one point on that but the dimensions are fine it is doing what i asked him to do the spirals are hollow the other one is almost one fourth of the price almost two fifths of the price but it looks cleaner and it is breaking the dimensions i gave him if i had to actually order with the, one of these guys i would go to the cheaper one place the order with him and then and uh bug him until he gets it right you know ask for revisions i'm gonna include this next in the video when i sit in front of the camera and do it for the first time how long it takes me to do it it took me 36 minutes but i did it like quick and dirty for the very first time i didn't do the details so i thought maybe if i round it up to one hour maybe even more my hourly is 250 so with 250 one hour that's a 250 dollar job the first guy who gave me a 75 dollars offer got a 3.5 out of 5 star and the second guy only got like half a star more he got four out of five but he asked for more than twice the price so mm. no the price was right the quality wasn't the first guy if you're watching you need to ask for more already for 250 my friends out there who are trying to start your own thing and make money on the side or maybe as the main job make sure to deliver quality work make sure not to sell yourself cheap read the constraints ask the client what it is that they're going to use this model for are they going to manufacture it what are they using to manufacture it what manufacturing method they're going to use because it matters if you deliver a file like this to a 3d printer you're gonna get a different surface finish than uh, the first model or if you're gonna cnc this or mold this ask questions estimate your time accordingly don't just give a price like all right off the bat it's gonna cost this much play a few minutes with the model then you will understand how much of work is gonna be involved in this project based on that you could calculate a more accurate price and deliver your good quality and make your money in no time this guy who just uh, charged me 200 
of $50 for this model. I want to see how many orders he has had. So let's just find that out. Or for example, look at this one. This one has 1,700 reviews. It means 1,700 orders. And if we consider an average order of $10 in his pocket, he has made $17,000 five years 3500 per year that's the minimum i'm calculating with ten dollars an offer and i just paid him 250 i think it's fair to assume he's doing ten thousand a year on fiverr okay so i came to a different freelance platform for solidworks 45 dollars an hour 23 145 an hour for example he's charging 90 dollars an hour and he has made over two hundred thousand dollars total earning over 400 jobs and four thousand hours of work it's about one hundred thousand dollars a year you can make if you're good with SolarWorks. all you need these the right skills so people don't give you bad reviews what i have noticed about a lot of you is that you underestimate your hourly rate by a lot you sell yourself very cheap i want you to go ahead and comment your hourly rate in the comment section below only by reading others comment you can evaluate where the normal rate should be it will help you and it does help others as well and i'm curious to see where you are standing make sure to check my solvers course pro which brings you to the level that i want you to be so you can charge good hourly rate something that i do go ahead check it out it is worth it you can make your money back in no time also if you have not subscribed to my channel but this is the second or third video of me you're watching this is kind of the universe telling you it's time to subscribe i'll see you in the next